Hello, hello, this is Pat with Petresca Papers, and I am back to do a couple of different things. I don't know if we'll get through a couple on this first one. I don't want the videos to be too long because it takes forever to upload them. But um, first of all, welcome to anybody that's new, and thank you to those who have subscribed. So if you want more videos like this, please make sure you subscribe. Make sure your settings are public so that I will know that you've subscribed and put a thumbs up, a likes, and uh, make a comment. Comments are always awesome. It's kind of like a cherry on top. So today we're gonna do some more junk journal. Now, I just got tons of this in the mail and I want to play with this but since our at last project was making something out of that oh and by the way Ida you're the winner I hope you saw that um, on the the winner spin wheel there's some information on how you need to contact me so I have your information so I can send it to you all right, so we're gonna do envelopes. We're gonna do a little series of a couple of envelopes. So the first one we're gonna do is using one envelope. And we're going to use, that isn't it, is it? It's that. So we're gonna use this envelope, this junk envelope, usually, you want to use that window creatively, but in this first one, we are not going to. I'm sorry, I know. It's a waste of a beautiful window, but I think this is going to work out good. So we're going to do two little pieces. This is like a little bonus. We're going to just set that off to the side for now. So I did do the drawing onto the envelope, so I would not forget. And a trimmer is a handy thing for this, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut on my lines. So what I've done is I first cut off the corner. I did pretty much an even, I think this one may be a little longer, that probably could have been a little bit more even. But you're going to cut off your corner. So, oh, first, 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 we want to seal this up. Now that was kind of sealed, but only with um, that kind of temporary stickum. So I am going to add a little art glitter glue here and stick that down. Okay. All right. So let's cut this first. So we'll set this aside with our other little bonus that we're gonna do. And then we're gonna cut this to make our first pocket. All right, so there's our pocket. When I did this, I looked at this, I'm like, oh man, that is pretty cool. Can I use this somehow to make another pocket on here? So what I ended up doing is making a belly band. Now, to make your pattern, you want that to match up in that corner because then you'll have this nice little pocket here and in the back. Plus, we're gonna do another little pocket there. Now, please remember, do whatever you want. I mean, if you're working on this and something seems like, wow, let me try that. That's how you do these things. It's uh, kind of serendipitous, okay? So I have gone through my scraps and you know, I have got so many scraps and end cuts. So I'm gonna try to use these first today. And since this is the biggest piece, I think I'm gonna use this to cover 
And if I can, it'd be great if I could cover both the front and the back, but I have a feeling I'm gonna run short. Yep. So, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and I will trace out on my piece of paper. And I'm just using, as if I can, I'm trying to only use paperweight, scrapbook paper, because things get so thick if you don't. So, I'm gonna be brave and just cut because we can always even it up and down here. Now, I'm going to fold here and I'm gonna fold where I can see the fold and then I'll turn it around. Okay. Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? Yeah. Did I? I don't know. Holly, come on. Do your thing. All right. And then I'm going to continue cutting up that way. Just because I get cr more crooked as I go. All right. So this is going to cover that front. And then on the back, what I did on this one... My, this piece, this little plaid piece, wasn't nearly as long as this one, but I think I'm just going to fold it down and give it that strength. I'm going to fold it right to that point of the slice down here, okay? And let's trim that. What are we trimming? It looks like we're trimming, yeah, we're trimming that inside piece. Okay. So now we'll have a pocket and that will be our front piece. Okay, so let's do some gluey. I think first, now that does not need to be that long because I want more scraps. You know how that goes. All right, and I'm going to use a lot of glue stick and use some of my junk mail for my glue sheet. Let's put that down and then I think I think I'm gonna glue right on here. Hope everybody's healthy. Well, you know, so many people, so many of my good friends are getting COVID now. And it's like, come on, what's going on here? What have I done here? I glued the wrong side. Okay. Well, let's let you dry. <laughs> See? That will not work. And if I pull this up, then that's going to be glued solid. And we don't want that. Oh, my goodness. See, I start talking about COVID and my brain goes wacko. All right. We're going to put you down. Let's see if we can put some glue on that and get that least headed down the road to be glued. Now it's going to be glued to my mat. Okay. Well, you know, if this continues on this way, you may not see this. I know I, I threaten that all the time. Let's put that down there. Let's open it up. Get some fresh paper. All right, down we go onto there. You know, that's funny. This this Elmer's glue stick is staying really moist a long time. Thank you so very much. Well, we do need a piece on the back of there, don't we? So let's, what have I got this big enough? You know what? We're gonna just, we're gonna go on an angle. And just in case that's too dry, 
I'm gonna come along. Oh, let's do this side. I'm gonna come along there. That's what I did actually with this one. This is not a on the straight and narrow. It's kind of on an angle. So we're gonna cut that down just like that. Okay, and then that's gonna be trimmed off. Right. And now you're almost dry enough. We will put some art glitter glue right along here. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. I have got my air conditioner on. I saw that flash of light. I have to keep it on. I sure hope it's not really irritating. I'll find out when I listen back to the video. So, all right, one more little bit of trim there. And I think we'll do a little bit of distressing on this before we start adding anything else. And we're gonna make sure that our slanted pocket is open. Now, are you glued good enough? Looks like we could add a little bit of glue right in there. Are you coming out? Yep. Okay. Okay, so, let's log there and down. All right. So now we need this cross piece and we've got to determine and I think what I was thinking was this peachy color. So we've got our template because we cut that off from our envelope. Now where is it? There it is. Okay. We're going to cut that right there because we're gonna stick that down right there and then this one will come around the back and glue, glue to there. So let's hope this fits and it does not fit. What have I got? I have I have that. Okay. It's got some white on it though. Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to have to jump into my scraps again. See what we can find that's big enough for that. What color are we dealing with? right here same as the other one so let's use this it looks like we've got plenty of that and let's line it up there and we can get a nice corner there and trace and trace that Actually, I think I'm going to fold this right in that middle and so then I can get a good even cut. Hope this is making sense. All right. Anyway, COVID. Hope all of you are well. We have not gotten it yet. We've been good about getting our booster. And who knows if that really does anything or not. You know, there's such a, still such a controversy about all that. All right. Now, this is going to go just like this. 
and match up with that corner, match up with that corner. So I'm gonna do some inking, some distressing. Okay, and let's keep it doubled. We have a little extra strength there. And along here. And over here. Okay. Across here. We don't need glue on there. We're just going to glue this corner down. So I'm going to match it up right like that. Come down just a little further. If it's a little longer. We can always, always trim it. All right. So I've got it matched. I'm going to put my glue right along that edge and then flip it over and do the same thing back here just that little pointy piece burnish that down and basically it's done it's done it's done and we're gonna put you can do all kinds of decor on it. What did I do on this one? I really didn't do anything on this one at all. But tag wise, you can make yourself a great big tag. Now it depends on the size of your envelope, what size tag. But this tag ended up being four inches, which fits in nicely into that envelope. I mean, nicely into that pocket, and then this one sits down, and it won't fall out because you've got this glued right here. Am I off center? I'm sorry. And then on the back side, you can have another one, and it stops there, and you can have another one that fits into that pocket that we made. So this is a really nice size little um, pocket embellishment that you can put into one of your albums. I don't know, this is an album I'm working on. I don't know if I even have a pocket in here, but for instance, something like this, that were pocket, it could slide down in there. Or if you had it a pocket that way, it could slide that way, okay? And then the little bonus over here and it could actually when I was looking at this it could be almost like a one of those cross pockets but we're going to use this and again if you were putting this into an album you could put it and glue it we're not going to put anything on the back so you glue it down to that corner and it becomes a nice tuck spot for a letter or a tag or whatever you want to tuck into your album. So to cover that, it's pretty easy. Probably don't even need me to show you, but we're gonna make it, we'll make it out of this paper this time. So we're gonna turn it over. We want it, I think we're gonna have it be this on that other corner this time. And let's see, did we fold up? We folded in. I think I'm gonna give it a little bit of space and we'll do some folding. Let's see if we can make it a little stronger. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of space that way. And then I'm gonna give myself the fold line so I'll know where to fold. Okay, oh, did not do that other one. So I went to Utah, Salt Lake City for a couple of days. I have a, 
think I mentioned it in the envelope video that I did. Um, I have a daughter-in-law who they, my husband, my husband, her husband, my son, and a couple of their kids went hiking in Zion's National Park. And they went to the Narrows and they got caught in a flash flood and she was washed downstream and washed down in this flash flood. Um, a bunch of people helped to rescue her. Um, there was a girl that they tried to help as they were struggling who they found several days later she'd lost her life. So we are so very grateful um, and humbled that everything was okay with our daughter-in-law. All right, so I'm gonna cut, just like we usually do that little angle when we're doing things. Let's see, uh, this is kind of a weird one. I don't know how that's gonna work. Let's find out. And I like to tuck this one down in. So maybe it needs to be almost straight and then almost, let's see, straight that way. Nope, more that way. Let's see. It's a little different than I did the other one. So this one will fold around there. That'll fold around there. And then we can trim those off. Or should we fold in first? Hmm, what should we do? Looks like I glued myself closed a little. That's good, we're gonna have a little extra strength here. Let's see how this does. Is that gonna work? Oh, looks like this needs to be trimmed a bit more. That way and that way. Let's see how that works. Oh, that did good. That did good, didn't it? Woo! Always surprised. And then this can come around. And this can come around. And we'll come up here and trim that off. And trim that off. Okay. Let's glue it down. Let's see if I can do it right now. I don't think that needs to be glued inside, so I'm just going to glue on, put glue on this side, right like that. Flip it over, get that glue off. What happened to my glue sheet that I was using? Okay, get that glue down. Right here, glue on there. That down and glue that down. Do I need to do any more trimming? It looks like just a smidge there. Okay, see we've got our little pocket. Oh, you know what? We do need to glue that down. So we'll just run a little glue on there, open it up and flip it back in there so it doesn't keep wanting to come out. Okay, all right. Let's do some inking and probably, what did I do on this one? Put a strip of washi tape. I don't think that's going to show at all if I do that. There's no contrast at all. I have a very limited supply of washi tape. I need to go. I need to shop for some. Let's see if, what this one will do. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's put that on that edge. Right like that. Turn that off. Oh, I guess it could go around. Let's just have it go around on that side and trim it off. There we go. All right. Now, if you wanted to, if you've got some snippets, could put a snippet on there and let's see oh well, that looks kind of cute I think I'll put that on there all right snip it there uh, 
that way. That way, that way. Let the postage stamp be the right way up. All right. And then we can do more goodies with this as we, we desire. You could even put another little snippet on there. I don't like that one. Uh, let's see. Nope, that blue. Let's see what about that. It's got some blue green in there, but that's okay. All right, I'm thinking, let's put it down towards that bottom because this is a stationary little part of that pocket. Put that on there, just like that. Okay, so then you can load it up with all kinds of goodies. Make that big tag that fits right down into your pocket. On the back side, you've got room for that and room for another tag. So pretty good. And then this one, you have another tag. We slip right down in there. All right. Well, I think that's where we're gonna call it for this first junk junk mail envelope video and then I've got a couple more and I'll get those going and we'll see you next time thank you so much again for tuning in and uh, I do hope you'll comment thank you bye bye